Hey everybody. Lewis here, our Jack Barbecue and other things. Well, today I decided I'm gonna do some ribs. I'm gonna do them up on the Rectech Bull. I haven't done ribs on them yet, or at least I haven't done a video. Uh, so I'm gonna do it today. Here we go. We'll go get the ingredients that I like and uh, we'll go from there. Stay tuned. Triple speed time. some ribs. Okay, we got our ribs, got our brown sugar. Let's go home and get these uh, going on the old uh, Rectech. So here we have one of our rack of ribs. Now, generally, if I'm gonna do this, I would like trim them up. I would cut this off, but this is just for me. Uh, and I'm gonna eat these tonight. So really, the only thing that I wanna do, I still like to remove the membrane. So we'll get this kind of starting here. Just take a butter knife, get it in here. Underneath the, that membrane skin and kind of pull up on it. Get my paper towel. And like I said, this is just for me, so this is down and dirty. Let's get in here, let's make us some ribs. So we're gonna come in and when I like to use mustard is my binder. I like a binder, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I do, so. And once again, I'll probably cut that. Oh, I guess that'll just fall off. That's. That's just garbage fat. We'll get rid of that. Got some more over there. Let's get that out of the way. All right. Well, let's just kind of rub this mustard around. <laughs> so what I have, I have a big baking sheet here that I lined with uh, just cheap foil. And then I have a piece of parchment paper under it too. Uh, this just makes it easy cleanup. We're gonna come in with our seasoning. And yes, I season. The bone side, pretty liberal. Today, I'm using Uncle Steve's Shake Original Seasoning, barbecue seasoning. 
We'll get this all over it, like so. All right, give it a quick little pat down. Pat, don't rub. Boom. And I'll flip it over. Now notice I'm trying to keep this hand clean, so. Let's grab it. Flip it over. Got some crap fat there. Now oh, let's just take this knife. Cut that off there. Yeah, that's a pretty thick chunk there. Let's just get that out of the way. Ah! Then we're going to hit this side with the mustard. Bam! Bam! Today, uh, it's actually warming up outside. Here it is, January 20th, Martin Luther King Day. And uh, it's warming up outside. It's almost 40 degrees. Yeah. Great day to be doing ribs. All right. Let's get some uh, Uncle Steve's shake on here. Get a nice coat going. This actually spreads out beautifully. This is a nice looking rub. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this sit here. Kind of meld into the meat. Look at that mustard all over my hands. Mm. No, I'm not going to lick them clean. I'm going to wash them off. But anyhow, we're going to let this seasoning meld into the meat right here on the counter while we go out and get the Rectech set up and get it uh, up to temp. We're going to be running at, I'd say, I'm going to set it at uh, 260. And we're going to use the 321 method uh, as our base. Um, I don't know if it'll take that long because I do like to probe for tenderness. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to wrap them this time or not. Uh, we'll just see as we get into this cook. All right. While I was at work yesterday, it snowed here. And uh, I'll have to do some shuffling. But uh, got the rec tech over here. We'll get it uh, uncovered and uh, get her fired up. Shove us some snow. So the one thing that every Rectech Bowl owner will tell you is that that cover is a pain in the butt to get on and off without ripping it. They almost need to put a zipper down it, like on this side, so you can unzip it and just pull it off. That is a pain in the butt. Well, let's get in, get this thing fired up. Okay, we got it coming up to temp here. So we'll close her down and once she hits the 260, put the ribs on. Smoker's up to temp. Let's get this rack of beautifulness out on the grill. Okay, so we got them on. Let's just let them sit there for about three hours. And then we'll come out and see what we need to do next. I'm thinking I'll probably wrap them with uh, butcher paper, but we'll see. So, got three hours. Time to go do some more shoveling. Nah. So our ribs have been on for two and a half hours at 260. Let's go out here and take a look at them. 60. Let's just have a quick look at these things, see if we're getting ready. Look at that. I haven't spritzed them yet. I think I might get uh, a little bit of water and spritz them down here. But they're looking good. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these and uh, wrap them with butcher paper. So let's get them off the grill, get them in the house, get them wrapped up real quick. Okay, so now we'll let it go, eh, probably an hour, hour and a half, and we'll come out and check it then. All right, so these have been wrapped up for a couple hours here. We're gonna go in and take a look at them and uh, sauce them up here probably. So let's get into this. Sauce number one, we'll probably do two more. And then we'll pull them off and cut them up. Should be done in about half hour, 45 minutes. <clears throat> Try to get out of the, okay. All right, so it's time to pull these ribs off. Let's get them into the house, cut them up, try them. They're gonna be good. So the rec deck did a really good job on these ribs. Uh, when I'm cooling it down, I like to leave the lid open. Just kind of speeds up the process. And it being uh, winter time out here, it's probably, you can see my breath. So it's probably around 32 degrees. Uh, so it shouldn't take it long to get cooled off. Yeah, it's all the way down to 133 already. So here we go. Let's go cut into these ribs. Those look good. Let's cut into them. Mmm. Yummy. running off them. Mm. This is going to be so good. All right, let's try one of these ribs. Let's just take a bite here. We're in a good spot. Mm. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Alright, All right. so you saw how I did that. Here it is January and uh, it's kind of chilly outside. It's warmer today, almost 40, uh, but this evening it's cooled off quite a bit. Rectex sat right there at 260. Um, so I seasoned it with that uh, Uncle Steve's original uh, that he labeled for CJ and uh, I won it on a contest. That's really good. And then uh, I just came in and kind of, I put some Stubbs barbecue sauce on it, original. I really like original. We really like this original of Stubbs. Um, so, so how I did that, put it in there at 260, uh, just let it go for three hours. Uh, then I took it out and wrapped it in butcher paper. You know, brown sugar, a little bit of apple uh, cider vinegar and uh, butter. And I spritzed it with water. Um, had it in there wrapped, double wrapped it with paper, butcher paper for an hour and a half. Uh, then I unwrapped it and I've started saucing it 
every 15 minutes. Uh, and I did that for 45 minutes. So they were out there uh, for five hours and 45 minutes, almost the three, two, one method. Um, but this is so good. They are so moist, uh, just the way I like them. Uh, a little bit of a tug to it, but still comes right off the bone when you bite into it. Mmm, so good. Man, I gotta tell you. I love, <clears throat> I love ribs. So, anyhow, that Rectech pellet grills, they just do awesome. Um, the PD, PID controller that controls that temp, always turning the fan on and off, the auger speed, it's just beautiful. Uh, I have nothing, nothing bad to say about a pellet grill. Uh, they do awesome. And, uh, you know, this is fairly easy to do. I had the day off wanted ribs. Um, anyhow, I really appreciate you watching. You can do this too. And grill on my friends. You'll love ribs. Till next time.